Yo, hello and welcome to another video and today I want to talk about Visions of Enmity, the season theme of Diablo 3, season 29 and it seems like this theme will stay in the game and I want to talk a little bit about it, what I would improve and how it works right now, obviously. So first, how it works right now and then how it could be improved and how it would make more fun in the long run to implement it long term into the game um yeah blizzcon is over uh i rented a little bit in the previous video if you haven't seen that then check it out so what are visions of enmity um these are basically portals to another dimension where you can get a lot of um, items and a lot of materials and bounty mats and keys and all that stuff. Yeah, great array of keys. So um, the way to trigger it is either you kill mobs in the normal world. We can we can do this. Um, not sure if, if if I will trigger one immediately here, but uh, usually when you go halls of agony level three, then uh, there's a high chance that you get one pretty fast. Um, it might take a little bit. Every zone that has a high density of mobs is really good for this. That was a gem goblin. Uh, we want to take them because gems are the... Biggest bottleneck here in solo self-found hardcore. Yeah, to put augments on the gear. Um, so we were unlucky here. Yeah, that I could clear a little bit more, but um, yeah, if you if you don't find anything here, there's there's a little bit more uh, here on this direction and so on. Probably we could trigger it, but the alternative, especially if you play like me, a crusader. Then you get um, these bovine buddocks and you can put them in the cube and open a portal to the cow level and they have an enormous amount of density which you need to um, yeah, get this portal pretty quick. There we have one, I show it again. Yeah, it's basically this blue-purple-ish portal, looks very nice. Yeah, Whoever designed this, uh, thumbs up, this looks really great. And once you are in there, you have um, yeah small floors yeah with a lot of density and um, once and each mob here has a chance to like there's one mob in this in this area that uh, that can spawn another portal. Um, you want to go through. You're gonna get deeper and deeper here. Uh, what I would like first is that we would have um, some kind of uh, floor number on the description here on the top right. Yeah, that we see how deep we go because they uh, have right now, um, yeah, a variation of of, of yeah, how deep you can go. Basically, it goes up to fifteen, I believe, and uh, based how deep you go, uh, it also, um, yeah, influences the loot you get from the from the chest in the end. Yeah, so um, right now you saw we had some some rift guardians here, so they dropped some keys. Yeah, this also scales with the cane set on my follower. Can show it here, like cane. Don't worry, it's empty because my character died. Also a video that what you find on my channel. Um, so basically the three piece bonus here gives you 25% chance that uh, another key drops. Yeah. So um, this is obviously great. And here I have usually a lot of keys. So you saw here there was a goblin. This was, I believe, only like level three. So this was a very short one. So we will only get 20 bounty materials. Yeah, once you kill that goblin, um, there is a chest. You can open it. The timer starts 30 seconds. And you see we see bounty materials here, 20. This can be 20, 40, or 60. Got also some greater rift keys, but this is basically it. Um, I will try to trigger another one because usually um, the amount of legendaries you find is really high, especially the deeper you get into this vision of enmity. Yeah, the deeper you get, the higher the, the drop chance is. And there can be also like uh, goblin rooms here yeah, that are filled with, with goblins completely. Um, I had that as well many, many times. And let me disenchant the gear here first. 
I'll salvage it. So what do we do? Um, I think my follower lacks a shield. Yep. There we go. And then we put the gems on the bank as well. And then I go back into the cow level. Usually I get three portals, yeah, to visions of enmity. Um so if if you if the portal is closed, yeah, you can go to the same zone, also like halls of agony, yeah. If you had one there and you haven't cleared yet, there is also a chance that you get another one. So you saw it, there is another one that spawned. And we go right in, and here you see a lot of blue packs, they drop a lot of death breaths, yeah. You see the entire screen is full with it. But it's the same principle. So here we have the Rift Guardians again, so we're gonna get some keys here. Yeah, there were three, I believe, and there's another one, another boss, and another three keys. So now we have to find that one little random mob here to spawn the portal, there it was. And there's another portal. So in the beginning it doesn't make that much sense to, to clear everything here and loot everything because the drop chance is really low, but it gets better and better the deeper you go. But this was again a very short one. You saw we had the chest here. I looted it again. Let's see if we get another one, but it is a bit deeper, but I think you get the idea. Yeah? So, um, but it doesn't show right now what I find annoy annoying about this. Um, so let's do one more. Probably um, we can. I can show it here. Because right now, when it's that fast, it's it's pretty smooth actually. But um, yeah, the deeper you go, uh, the more drops, and then you will be busy selling all that stuff in the town. And you are longer in the town than you actually play the game. Yeah, you are busy looting everything and um, salvaging everything instead of just rushing through like I do right now here. Yeah. So it breaks a little bit the flow of the game and um, there's also also a huge disbalance yeah, between the materials. For example, you're gonna get a lot of bounty materials, but you will always lack the forgotten souls. So um, what you get when you disenchant or salvage legendary items. So this is something um, which could be balanced a bit more and um, I also think um, with a with a yeah, let's 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 find another one first. Let's find another one first, and then I will talk about what can be improved. I probably I don't find any. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. Um, all right, then we go somewhere else. Bits of Misery, for example. That is, has also usually a high amount of mobs. Huge density, so... We should be able to spawn another Vision of Enmity. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, let's hope this one is a bit longer. That we can actually loot some, some items here and... Salvage a few times, yeah. Oh, and this map here, it is nice that we have this one. Um, this one here needs to be fixed as well. Like, you see these little torches here? They have collision detection and it's uh, if this is full, yeah, you you can't sometimes loot the stuff, you know, because your character is stuck on these torches. This is, this is one thing that has to be fixed for sure. Like, either make them here, like, just... And, and like an optical thing, you know, like that is just a visual thing and not actually an, an object where you can uh, collide with. Um, yeah, that is, that is that is really annoying, especially in hardcore. If, if early on when your character isn't that tanky, these these things can do a lot of damage with the, especially with the poison um, debuff. Yeah, they, these these mobs they have special special affixes and they all do something like. I don't know exactly right now, I have to check it up. Um, I, I said it in my video about the patch notes, but uh, it's not that important because uh, you basically rush through here. But the one that is a little bit annoying is the poison one. And this one can cause a lot of trouble, and especially early on. And yeah. 
So you want to want to be sure that your character does what you want your character to do, you know? You don't want to be stuck at torches. This is one thing that should be that should be changed and um let's hope that we get a little bit deeper here. Other thing was the balance thing, yeah, that you that you like of forgotten souls, obviously. Yeah, you have a lot of bounty materials, but not that amount of forgotten souls. What could be done here, like also to improve the, the flow overall, um, have it drop less items, I guess, and instead materials here on the way, and um, just have the, the, the reward be really stacked up, you know, that the chest you loot in the end is the one where you have the real loot pinata, you know what I mean? That that would be that would be way better in my opinion, and then don't put it on a timer that it closes in thirty seconds or whatever. Just just give us the opportunity to to close it manually. Um, that would improve a lot because it's not always the same thing, you know. Sometimes your inventory is full and you can't loot, then you have to destroy items, and sometimes you just want to take your time or whatever, or you want to be faster. Yeah. That, it's a possibility, so give the power into the hands of the players instead of um, dictating a timer that closes the, the thing automatically. That is, that is something I want to see. So now you see my inventory is full for the first time. I looted a lot of um, yeah, rare items, which I usually don't do. Um, there we go. And then let's identify... So this is exactly what uh, what I don't like about this is um, if you if you have too many items you you go into that salvage mode and um, yeah if you don't use anything which legit players do yeah they don't use anything but I know a lot of people are out there that have their little add-ons there which we don't want to advertise here because this is just plain cheating yeah even if they say it to themselves it's quality of life nah it's against a toss and in my opinion yeah everything you use even in World of Warcraft should be should be banned you know if you if you want to call it competitive whatever what happens here what I want to talk about yeah is if you have this over and over, you're, you go into that brain AFK salvaging mode and it happens so many times yeah, that I just click through here to get to get through with it and I disenchanted, I salvaged upgrades yeah, like ancient items that would have been an upgrade for a different build or whatever because you are locked in into the build you play. I only care for these items right now, you know, like if you play this build for a long time. But then you see this one here. Oh, this is great. Oh, it has physical. Nice. I might need this. Yeah, something like this. But you, you just go through, you know, you just go through and then it's then it's then it's done, basically. Yeah. So um, this is something like salvaging stuff accidentally you don't want to slow down here obviously yeah because then uh you're out of flow anyways you know what i mean like you want to you want to play the game you don't want to you don't want to or i at least don't want to be here and and check on every little upgrade or whatever if it if it could be an upgrade or whatever you know like i want to have some flow when i play the game and so now we go back we can loot more and I hope it goes way deeper because then we have to do this a few more times. Now go into the city and and do that stuff. So what else could be could be done here? That's a good question. Yeah, I have I haven't anything prepared here, so forgive me if it's a little bit random what I say. But in the end, uh, I think a lot of people would agree with this. Um, another thing. I thought about was um, the key thing. Yeah, it's it's. I did um. I did a tweet about it. I had a one-hour session. Uh, how many materials you're gonna get? Yeah. So um, let me let me find it quick. Yeah, that is. We can do this. <clears throat> so then I can tell you exactly what what I was talking about. Uh, there it is. Let me change the view. It should be this one. Yep, there you see it. This is um, one hour solo farming. So I got 100 keys, yeah, 100 Greater Rift keys, 340 bounty materials, 7200 reusable parts. They are the white ones. Um, almost 6000 Arcane Dust. This is the blue material. 
4,718 rare crystals, that is from the rare materials, or from the rare items when you salvage them, 2,390 death brass, and 800 forgotten souls, yeah, 808, and one primal legendary. So let's go back, um, there we go. So this is, this is a huge number, and the keys is basically similar to when you would farm uh, normal rifts, right? But then still, I think every time it feels pretty slow, yeah? And sometimes you just need keys, and sometimes you just want to do Visions of Enmity to improve your your gear, you know? And I think the players should have the choice what they, what they want to do. Um, or at least I want to have the choice what I want to do. I don't want to do like that wishy-washy, you know, where I get everything a little bit. I want to have something where when I need keys because I want to push, then I go for, for keys, you know, like normal rifts could be improved. Yeah, the, the drop rate of the keys, like massively, but it's worth it. And uh, just remove the keys from this one here so that the players can... There's, there it is full again. So the players can decide what they want to do, basically. Yeah. So if you need items, you just go to Vision of Enmity. And if you need keys, you just go to a normal rift. Because right now, nobody is playing normal rifts anymore. It's just a waste of time. And I think you don't want to do this. Yeah. You don't want to make your own content obsolete. I think um, this would be a good tweak. Just buff the, the number of keys that drops from, from normal rifts slightly. And uh, yeah, then it is the way to go if you need keys. And if you need gear, then uh, you go Visions of Amnity. All right. So now we disenchant for the second time. So let me know in the comments if I, if I have disenchanted an upgrade. Wouldn't be the first time. Um, all right. And then uh, we are not finished yet, right? We are not finished. So this one is a really deep one, so I guess after the first two short ones, uh, the game finally has hurt me when I said I want a longer one. So here we are deep enough already that it makes sense to, to kill everything and also if you have the, the blue mobs, yeah, the champion mobs, they drop so much death press, it makes sense to, to clear everything on these floors. Yeah, but then also with the, with the materials, I've said it before, I think um, it would make more sense in my eyes for the flow of this game mode. Now we have the goblin, now we have the goblin, so this is over now. I think 40 materials will drop from the chest. We will see. But as I said, for the flow, I think it makes more sense to, to, have, the, to have the huge reward in the end, you know? Like, um, this is also weird where the chest spawned, like right on the portal. Here we have 40 materials, a few greater with keys. And then I loot basically everything I can because this closes anyways. So what do you think? <laughs> Is this, I mean, it seems like it will stay in the game. I think it's a nice um, addition to the game. Perhaps you agree, perhaps you don't, um, but this is definitely something that should stay in the game. But as I said, um, the flow can be a little bit better, like um, looting during during the floors is a bit... Uh, or at least going back into town is the, is the annoying part, I think, like, because... Um, yeah, it happens that in the end, even if you get upgrades, they're gonna get salvaged anyways, because you don't pay that much attention. Sure, you should probably slow down a little bit, or I should slow down and pay more attention to, to every little item, but um, yeah, in the end, uh, when you have everything ancient or whatever, you know, and everything is augmented already, then you don't pay that much attention anymore, and you just want to have keys, for example, and it makes no sense right now to run normal rifts because they give the same amount of keys. So you want to have this one here to have uh, at least uh, also a chance to get some primals or whatever or some upgrades and also more gems because they are the bottleneck for everything here in solo season hardcore and I think um, these changes I've talked about they would be uh, a little bit better for the flow and uh, yeah I think um, to to change the 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 amount you have to loot just give it 
just make the the loot for in the chest you know put it into the chest in the end and then you get really rewarded yeah, and probably less items but more materials and um this would definitely benefit my playstyle and uh probably make a guaranteed ancient legendary drop right there yeah that i don't know like three ancient items will drop that would be nice so you would still have a reason to to do this yeah to to get some upgrades or whatever or even more ancient items i don't know but uh make the materials drop there as well because um looting during the rift all the time yeah like all the little items it's it's it, it breaks the flow and um it's it's stressful yeah and uh, not just stressful it is um demotivating if you then brain afk salvage an item that might have been an upgrade so uh and i think at the end of the vision of enmity you pay more attention because now is your inventory full but if you are in the middle of the run you you just want to finish the run you know because you think the chest in the end is the thing you want but in reality it might be the items on the way so i think this is just uh yeah it's too much good you know and uh that is that is that is harmful again <laughs> if this if this makes sense all right I hope uh, I've made my point clear here um, and I will end the video right now. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Visions of Enmity. Are they a good addition? What would you change? What would you keep? And um, yeah, I'm interested to read about all that stuff and perhaps we we figure some stuff out here. Yeah, give give Blizzard some, some you know, some, some good, uh, how do you say it? some good ideas yeah all right this is it for now um i hope you enjoyed this one and see you guys in the next video bye bye